Hey, what's up everyone? This is Cam with KDL Hotshot. In the first video there, I was mentioning how we're going to start the whole company, do the whole process. So I was going to show everyone in kind of a breakdown on what it takes to actually start your own company online. You don't need help. Uh, this video is getting your LLC started and a domain name, and it's going to cost you less than 150 bucks, and you can do it in about half an hour. So you do not need help. Uh, doing stuff like paperwork and... You know, the back end side of the business is a lot of people procrastinate on that. I personally do, but just remember that procrastination is a lot like masturbation. Uh, feels pretty good at first, but then you realize you're fucking yourself. So <laughs> anyhow, let's get into this video. Um, if anybody has any questions, please let me know. So first thing you want to do is go to division of corporations in your state. Um, I'm down here in Florida, so ours is sunbiz.org. And what you want to do first and foremost is search for, you know, the entity name. So whatever you're wanting to call your company. So I was going with KDL Hotshot is what it's going to be. And then LLC has to be included into the name. So just do that and search. And as you can see right away, it is not there. So that's good start for me. Um, originally, I was going to go with KDL Transportation. And if I search that, right there, the very first one is an active company here in Florida. So I cannot use that name. So I went with option two, which was KDL Hotshot. And it is not there. So once I realized the company name um, through the division of corporations this is kind of step one, right? Um, next, you want to go ahead and just start a, um, a Gmail account or an email account for your business. You know, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't look too good if you're like beerdrinker69 at gmail.com or something like that when you're sending off invoices, etc. to people. So go ahead and search to see if your company name is available in a Gmail also. And um, the third thing I like to do is go to godaddy.com. Um, the company, if it evolves and everything starts going good, you know, like if I become the next toe piglet or something like that, I want to make sure that I can actually grab my domain name. So I have already gone through, I have purchased the domain name. Um, but, you know, for an example, if I wanted to do like, XYZ hotshot.com search domain and look at that it is available so <laughs> the average sale price of 22 so look at that you can make yourself two thousand two hundred and forty dollars according to GoDaddy if you buy XYZ hotshot that's pretty silly so just ignore that but anyhow so now that we have our name under the division of corporations, we're good. We can get a Gmail account that is the name of the company, which is step number two. Step number three, GoDaddy to make sure that you can get your domain name and grow your website in the future. Um, yeah, then you go ahead and go on to the division of corporations and it's quite simple. Start a business. Start e-filing, limited liability, and then go ahead and start your filing. So, like I said, I went through and I already did this to see how much time it took me, and it was a time lapse that was eight minutes long. So, it took me eight minutes to start my company, and the cost was $125. So, again, do not pay someone else to do this. You don't need it. Um... So after you file your corporation with the state, you're gonna get receive in the mail um, a corporation number. And then once you get that corporation number, you're gonna go to the IRS or you can just Google apply for an EIN. Okay, so, oh, by the way, so apply for EIN, pretty basic stuff here, but um, there it is right there. 
So if you're ever searching something on Google, if you notice this says add, 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 and it all goes to the exact same website, if you click on that one, some rich person is getting a little bit richer because they got advertising revenue for you. So just stay away from those because those people don't need any more money. It's ridiculous. But there you go. So once you apply, uh, once you apply for your EIN number, um, so employer employer identification number. Once that comes in, then you can take that to the bank and you can go ahead and get your bank account set up for your company. Uh, once you got your bank account set up, what I'd like to do, or what is a great idea to get going right from the beginning of your company, is go ahead and just go to QuickBooks and you can link up that new bank account to your QuickBooks account and everything that you do for your business should funnel through your business account. Um, this way your bookkeeper and anything can make updates, whatever they need to do, your, your accountant, and you have everything in the same place. So, uh, you know, building out your truck, your fuel, um, repairs, everything that you need to do, make sure you go ahead and use it out of your business company and not your personal company. And then you can start paying yourself out of your business company to your personal bank accounts. And this way it gets, it's tracked much easier. You know, the big mistake a lot of people make when they open up the business, they don't go through this portion of setting up the proper accounts. And six months in, you've got a, a pile full of receipts and it's just a disaster. So it, you might as well do it right in the beginning. It's pretty easy. And again, you can see the costs on this stuff, pretty basic. So to do a quick breakdown again, step one, division of corporations from your state, go ahead and search the name of the company. Step two, see if you can get an email address. Step three, see if you can find your domain name for your website. And again, this is $11.99 for the first year. And again, when you go to check out here, they're gonna ask you if you want the protection plan or whatever, and it's another 10 bucks. It, it's like when you go to Home Depot and you buy a box of freaking screws and they're like, do you want the extended warranty program on here? Uh, no, I think I'll be all right. So go ahead and $11.99, now you got your domain name. You file your company, this is $125. And then you go to the IRS. Once you get your company number, you apply for your employer identification number. Once you get your employer EIN number, go ahead and go to the bank, start your bank accounts, and you're off and rolling. And that's really how easy it is to start your own corporation. Again, this entire process took me less than 30 minutes, and it was $147. So it's really that easy, guys. So if you have any questions, oh, I just want to say I, I'm not an accountant. I'm not a bookkeeper. Um, yeah, so this is what I've done in the past. Obviously, go ahead and consult with professionals if you're not comfortable with it. And so now we've got our company all started. Next video, we're gonna actually go through the Ram 4500 with the Roadmaster cab and kind of give a tour and everything that's in there before we start ripping it apart. So go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.